How we doing everybody? My name is John. I don't know much about country music, but over the next hour and a half of this album, I'm sure I'm going to find out more. Cowboy Carter. I feel like this is gonna just explode in a minute. Do you hear me when I say? Do you hear me when I say? Look at it, look at it, look at look, look at 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 Just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes, in Alabama. Got both down, got us in rooted in Louisiana. Used to say I spoke to country. Hell of an opener. Huge, I guess country was like almost like psychedelic rock, but made her own completely. Almost like she's about to redefine what it is to be a country artist. Oh, I was wondering if it was an actual cover. Blackbird singing in the dead of night to see all your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Okay It's a nice version of a classic Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly You've got 16 carriages up next, so obviously we've heard. I will listen to this one again in context of the album. I can't promise I'm going to listen to Texas again. I've heard it a million times. 16 carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road on a tears I fight. 15 since was gone astray had to leave my home had in time to waste i got art to make i got love to create on this holy night they won't dim my light all these years i fight it's, been it's mad it feels like every song on the album so far an american requiem was all build up blackbird is blackbird a very famous song it's even in the structure of that song was kind of all build up build up and this thing is all build up build up build up so I feel like at some point, I hope it's not Texas Hold'em. As much as I like that song, well, no, I've heard it too many times now to like it. It's just is what it is. I hope there's something that just knocks us for six, as we say here in England. It might be the next song. That song's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Near perfect song. Amazing. Heartfelt, honest, raw. Melodically flawless production. Crazy. Listen, in a world where we are just becoming increasingly accustomed to music that is thrown together in order to appease the streaming services, in order to be even more prolific. People releasing two, three, four albums a year. A year. And music just, I don't know, just being here and gone within seconds. How wonderful to hear something like that that's designed and constructed over a long period of time to last for years and years and years, like all of her best songs, and like all of the great art. And even if it turns out that that song was made in a day by extremely talented people, it didn't come from a day. It came from a lifetime. And when you have a lifetime's experience, you can make things in a day. Don't worry, please. Kiddies are taking over this year. Celebrity kiddies. Okay, this is sounding... Very country, but also there folksy, bluesy. Tangled up in Marigold, we were listening to the Reverend children singing. Mm. Sing, 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 sing. Yeah. Even though I know someday you're gonna shine on your own, I will be your projector. Mm. Mm. Pick right off a given tree I gave water to the soil And now it feeds me Even though 
I know someday you're gonna shine on your own I will be a projector Someday you a beautiful contrast from the previous song as well, the subject matter. We're in 16 carriages, she's she's the 15 year old, she's the child, and here she's talking as the as the parent. There's something about a song like this with her voice and the way it can just connect straight to the heart of the matter. I think all the parents are probably feeling the same listening to this one. Just straight in there. I first saw your face in your father's sky. Put me in my, my thoughts and feelings quite deeply, to be honest. I haven't been feeling that much over the last 18 months. Because I was medicated to not feel so much. And in the last two months, I'm not medicated. <laughs> Decided to come through the other side of it. Feel like my life and my, my personality and my creativity is coming back. But also those feelings are intense. <laughs> feeling Real feelings that you feel. That line about all the hands carrying the name. Maybe I'll go into that one day with me. Complicated history of my surname. But, um, it's fucking stunning. Right, we've got a couple of short ones here. Why can't you be true? Come on, baby, it's time to rock. And go to that good place your mind likes to wander off to. Okay, I will and do if that. You don't want to go? I will do that, Willie. Really. Thank you. I will do that, Willie. Really. Yeah, I'll leave the kicker. You know, I will do that. I've heard the song 475,000 times, but I'll still do that. Mr. Nelson. Ain't no Just gonna sit back and enjoy it. Put the shades on. Just down, let down, it be. Down. There's a tornado. It still works on him. Okay. I don't know if this is in a single version, it cuts off on the radio before we get to this bit. Maybe it is. I can't remember. Something like that from that era before my time. Just fantastic. I mean, doesn't really feel like a country album. There's country elements. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not massively familiar with the ins and outs of country. Yeah, some people over here in the UK like country music, but it hasn't never really traveled to the UK in the same way that all the other great American genres have. And I know there's probably some drama about whether this is country or not, and it becomes a big deal in America. It's not really of interest over here. As far as I'm concerned, this is just a, a combination of influences from the past 50, 60 years of American music, all of which was inspired, in fact, all of this type of music overall was inspired by you know, classic blues from America, including the Beatles and everyone else, the Stones and everybody else. So anything that has this kind of sound, whether it's this or more of a country sound or this, 
It all kind of stems from that music anyway. So, I mean, for some stupid people, that would probably create some sort of terrible outrage that Beyonce would dare be doing this. And then there's the backlash to that and the backlash to that and the backlash to that. I only care about the art. And here, we just have brilliantly produced pop, rock, country, folk. It's just all blending into one to produce a, a just a stunning record so far. Only eight tracks into 27. I'm going to be here a while. Dolly P. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. And then we're going into Jolene. It's just been done hey, Miss Honeybee. by it's a lot Dolly of people P. very well, including you know Miley Cyrus. You with the good hair you sang about? Mm-hmm. Reminded me of someone I knew back when. Oh, yes. Except she had and normally a cover of this is stripped back. Jolene, we're going into it. In, yeah. Jolene, Jolene, I'm warning you, don't come for my man. Jolene, 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 we've been deep in love for 20 years. Mm. Most people who cover this song try and sing it the best that they possibly can. They try and outdo the melody or make the high points even stronger. It often sounds incredible. But here, Beyonce, while singing it brilliantly, but that was kind of a given, is really going into the lyrics and changing little bits here. And obviously she's got the past, uh, you know, thinking of Lemonade, thinking of the, her past as well. So it just becomes a bit more real and raw. I think it's a fantastic cover. I didn't think it could be done to make this cover interesting again. It's always going to be good because it's just too good a song. just hearing this for the first time because it feels like a song that's been around forever in fact i was going to look it up just on the off chance it was a cover you know that is an original i mean that is an unbelievable track The you know when you hear something for the first time you're just kind of blown away it's like how, how is this even the thing just casually in the middle of an album and that is actually her singing the opera at the end there caro mio ben yeah it feels like sort of thematically tied to jolene as well I can't believe how good that track was. Cinematic, like straight ripped from a, a Tarantino movie. Genre. Spaghetti, so we're going uh, full western on this one. Aren't they? The hell? I ain't in no gang, but I got shooters and I bang, bang. At the snap of my fingers, I'm fine. And I'm still on your head, cornrows. 
mission in the kitchen Cooking up some chicken's extra leg But I ain't even trying to kick it Cunty, country, petty, petty, petty All the same to me, plain Jane spaghetti No sauce, no sauce mm. Too soft, too soft mm. They salty, they shooting like curry One But I can't call it a country album, album now It's, it's... But it was sweet when they was walking in the back What it is, is what it is Texas album? Is it Beyonce album? Dude. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, I'll let you have your moment, Shibuzi, because it sounds good. Texas Hold'em is a song. Is a Trojan horse. It's like, I'm going to do a country song, and this is my country album, kind of. Kind of, but also not really. It is the everything I want to make album with the kind of country dressing. Like, she's bigger than country music. Don't let the country fans hear me say that. Play cool. Know the long man watching me. Every time I move, bounty on my head. A beautiful song melodically, beautiful song instrumentally. But the last two songs were just so mad. I mean, Doors was so incredible and Spaghetti was so out there that I, I can't even really take this one in. So I'm just going to let this one soak in as an album track. You tuned into KNTRY Radio Texas, home with the real deal. If there's one thing you can take away from our set today, let it be this. Come on with Up it. next on the Smoke Hour is Just for Fun by Beyonce. It says just for fun, but it's sounding pretty serious with this piano. Going all out just for fun. I am the man, I know it. And everywhere I go, they know my name. I pray to I don't know Willie Jones. Gorgeous track, but again, I think the last two tracks have been really good. Beautifully produced, beautifully melodic, but the previous two proper tracks were so mad, and the Jolene cover as well. That those ones have, these last two have just kind of been there. Beyonce and Miley on this one. This is going to be crazy, I'm sure. No jump in the gun, but we're both still young. One day we won't be. Didn't know what I want till I saw your face. I'll be a shotgun right up till the day I die. Smoke out the window, flying down the 405. And I'll be a backseat, baby. Making waves in the wind with my empty hand. My other hand on you. Been a while since I haven't tried to pull away. I feel like they're gonna go somewhere crazy in the back half of this song. I'll be a shotgun rider till the day I die. I'll be a shotgun rider till the day I die. Baby, I'm driving you crazy. I mean, this will be number one by a mile if they release as a single. It might just go there anyway. I'll be a shotgun rider. 
Yeah, yeah this, this is the kind of track that could just force itself to number one by the power of the artists involved, really. Okay, Levi's jeans with the two eyes. As we've seen throughout the, the tracks. This is two. The Renaissance was one, this is two. confident in saying this is my least favorite song on the album and in some ways it's really not very good but i'll give it the benefit of doubt a flamenco now we're going to get some fire guitar on this one hopefully my mind has been telling me to settle right on down i hope that you know that once i loved you i wish that i know you let me wonder Exhale my breath until the deed is done. God, I think this song should have been longer. It's just getting going. Right about now. Okay. So, since Spaghetti, I've enjoyed the album, but not quite as much as the first 12 tracks, which I just thought were amazing. Just in a bit of a, like, middle-paced, Part of the record. I do think that song could and perhaps should have been longer, but we're into another little interlude and we've got some more long, proper, serious songs to go. So strap in, get comfortable. We're going to go through the rest of the album. Let's go. Hey, the Linda Martell Ladies Show. Some of this stuff lost on me as an Englishman. This particular tune no doubt. stretches across a range of genres. Hello, girls. Hello, Beyonce. Hello, Hello fellas. fellas. You're pretty swell. Pretty place. Tom's place. Okay. I'm surprised this isn't the intro track. I'd imagine it was at some point. Straight into old Louisiana. Okay. That sounds like my voice and the cat. Get a handful, baby. She's a whole lot of woman. 
not happy the song's only one minute long. River dance, this one's cool, we're getting Irish. Crazy track. Crazy. Okay, longest track on the album now. Two hands to heaven. Keeping up this pace, this BPM. Bottle in my hand, the whiskey up high. Two hands to heaven, wild horses run wild. Arizona heat, summer flings, all your best sides. Slip into my dreams every night, be the good guy. Who am I to judge, my baby? Some people would say that these two songs could have been on the previous album just because they have like a housey tempo. But in truth, the songs on the previous album were of a very particular style of house music. Whereas this is quite different. There are country elements, but it's much more smooth and kind of euphoric almost, the housey elements here. Whereas these were like club, disco, vogue type bangers. These are just songs to, to shut your eyes to and drift away, which is exactly what I'm doing. Apart from now, but now I'm getting back to Wherever you wanna go, that's fine with me. I'll never stop you, you'll never stop me from being whatever we need to be. And in these dark times, I'm so glad that this love is blinding. Amazing song. Oh, where am I? Still here recording the video. Cowboy Carter. Time to strike a match and light up this juke joint. Okay. One, one, one by one, you hang them high. Your hands are steady in your sleep at night. How, tell me how. Every time I ride it, make it look so good. Remember, none after that. 
Listen, are we going to get a tight 16 from Dolly Parton on this track? Let's find out. Tap me on the shoulder when you reload the gun. Every time I ride it, every time I ride it, make it look so crazy. I can't believe this is on the same album as Daughter and on the same album as Texas Hold'em. She really is creating her own lane. Well, to be honest, she's been doing that for a long time. Okay, two tracks to go. Sweet Honey Bucket. This album is so crazy and so long that at this point, all I can label it as is an experience. Music designed to carve its own path, but music designed and crafted to live for years and years and years. There's some unbelievable songs on here. Some songs that are designed to make you sit up and take notice. Some songs designed to provoke some people and prod some people who may be annoyed by them if they uh, very strict genre rules. You're talking about an artist who is sort of two decades into the game now, at least, and has just been at the top of it the whole time and continues to push boundaries. Say the things that I know will offend Where that shit that I know start a trend Take the boot, got it off with a spin Ain't no tie, feel a wind on my skin Ooh, 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 snakes on the jam They hiss and don't listen to the And this one I'm just accepting whatever the songs are They're just A good night flow the money is full So much going on So much going on One track to go I mean, <laughs> to say you're not going to take all this album in and one listen is an understatement, man Holy shit Full circle. Wow, listen. If you want to continue your Beyonce journey on the channel, where are we going here? The lemonade reaction is here or here. It's a good one. We're going straight back in here though. My God. Where do we go in part three? We'll see you there.